In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize individual before and after along with this how to display the overall average. If I simply switch to my data, this is my whole data set. I have the KPI, I have the before value and after value and the goal is to calculate the overall average and display in a different color. So just follow me till the end, I will show you each and everything. Consider I have this data set. The first thing we need to calculate the average. So I will click on row 15, hit control key to select multiple cell. Simply go to menu bar and here you can see average and simply click. It will calculate the average formula. For the formatting, I will choose number format with two digit. I will center align, apply some sort of border. And for the fill color, I will use light gray color. So this is how we calculate the averages for each of the KPI. The next thing I need to select entire data set, including average, click on insert recommended chart, click all chart, line chart. In this case, I will select the second layout and simply hit OK. The next thing we need to delete all of these legends. So I will simply click and hit delete key. For the formatting, I will choose the third layout. In this case, I will simply remove the vertical drop line. The next thing we need to assign same color for each of the CDs excluding overall average. I will click on format. On the very left side, you can see a drop down menu. Here you can see series one and it's highlighting the first series. We simply need to go shape outline and I will choose black 50%. And now I simply need to select series one by one and I need to assign the same color. Now we have assigned color for our 12 series. If I simply click here, we have 13 series, which is actually the overall average. So for this, I will simply click on shape outline and I will choose the palm color. I will click again shape outline and for the weight I will choose two point. Now I will simply right click on this series format data series click on fill and line markers marker option and we will apply a filter and in this case I will apply circle marker for the fill color I will choose the same color as my shape outline and I will also increase the size of my marker let's say up to eight point. If I simply close this window and click anywhere else, my chart is look much better. The next thing we need to apply data label. I will click again, go to format series 13, click on plus icon, data label, more data label option. And in this case, I will simply uncheck little line and I will manually move this data label to the left side and another data label a little bit to the right side. The next thing we need to assign the same color for data label font. I will simply go to home, make it bold, assign the same color. And I think better we need to increase a little bit font size as well. Click on next, increase the font size to 10, make it bold and choose the same palm color. The next thing, simply copy the first KPI header, hit Ctrl C, click on chart title, double click, Ctrl A, Ctrl V, and I will assign the dark black color which look much better. So this is how we create our first chart. Now to create our second chart, we don't need to do each and every step again and again. I will simply click, hit Ctrl C, go to my dashboard, click here, Ctrl V. I will click again on my data tab. In this case, whenever you click on the chart, it's highlighting the data. Now I simply need to move this data to the next KPI and simply I will copy the second KPI header, hit Ctrl C, double click on chart title, Ctrl A, Ctrl V. Now I will simply click Ctrl C, go to my dashboard, click here, Ctrl V and adjust a little bit this one. Now we don't need to do each and every step again. I will simply click on this chart, hit Ctrl C, click again on next chart, click on paste, paste special, click on format and simply hit OK. And this is how we apply each and every format to the next chart. Now I will simply click on data tape again, 
and I will move this data to the next KPI. And now I will simply copy the chart title, hit Control C, double click on chart title, Control A, Control V. Now I will simply copy this chart as well, go to dashboard, Control V, and in this case, I will click on the first chart, hit Control C, click on the third chart, paste special, and simply apply format only and hit OK. And this is how our third formatting is ready. Click on data again, move this to the next KPI, copy the chart title, double click on chart title, Control A, Control V, simply hit Control C, go to dashboard, click here Control V, adjust a little bit, click on the second chart or the first chart or any of the chart, hit Control C, click on the fourth chart and only apply the format and simply hit OK. This is how we develop these four charts easily. I hope you learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have any specific question, just write me comment. Thank you so much.